Everyone's unit is wow, they were close. Uh, we ain't got a choice on this. We're going to have to send everything. Or have they already gone? <laughs> They've already gone. Hey everybody, welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Chris here, and before we start, I want to apologize, this video has come out late. Uh, this video came out late, basically, because for those who paid attention on the last video, um, I've just got back off holiday, vacation, where I spent a lot of time driving, and I got home from work today and fell asleep. I apologize. Um, so yeah, it's late today, and I am very, very sorry about that. I normally try to stick to a an 8 p.m. UK time schedule every day, new video, didn't happen. I'm very, very bad, and I'm sure that you'll let me know in the comments section. But it won't happen again. I hope. <laughs> anyway, um, end of the last video, we dealt with a uh, side op over here. We're using uh, 35 to deal with that again. Another one. And then we'll be taking 35 over to do with the Articles of Colonization, I believe. Um, but as you can see, lots of Cylons. Lots of and lots of Cylons. In fact, Tauron's under double attack. And uh, first mission is on Tauron. So we're going to deal with this. Get rid of one of these fleets, hopefully. Um, and then go over here, deal with this. Setting us up for the Articles of Colonization. Um, we also had this little fleet down here got attacked. It's only a 2,000. It's got the capacity for 3,500, but as we all know, we have lots and lots of 3500 fleets, or fleets with caps of 3500, that don't have that many ships in. Um, I'm working on it, I promise you. We're just having a little problem with income at the moment. Because we don't have enough fleets with offices in over all the planets. So, yeah, stuff ain't going our way in certain areas, but it is in others. We're doing our best. Anyway, Tauron, have to defend Tauron. Let's do this. Uh, just want to say thank you to everyone who commented on the last video. It's very much appreciated. It's nice to get the feedback. Um, our admirals are happy. This is good. Our admirals are very happy. And they uh, have promised to send yet more detailed intelligence about the Cylon scum and how to beat them. So we will uh, hopefully get some new tactics. Um, this is... Ooh, no, stay. Thank you. Uh, this is a fleet 3500. So four adamants and a manticore. So we're going to go with the good old fashioned four stack here. I do like the four stack. I really do. <laughs> Five stack is awesome as well. Um, but four stack... It, it does the job. It works. All right. Um, we do have a four stack, so we will. You know what? I don't know why I always do one in the middle. It doesn't make a difference. So we're just going to go with it. A lower. A lower. Yeah, we'll go with that. Them. They're going to have a PCM. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, full stack. That's a manticore on top. All right. Raid at Tauron. Um, it's a 2,000 fleet we're up against, so we are high. Oh, we are so high. Right. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to turn away, drop Understood. down. Don't want to be... Uh, turning towards them and dropping down because you know things can go wrong then you can get yourself in a, a jam we have the distance we trade so that for a bit are. of time so we can figure out what we're doing it's probably a pretty standard fleet so three nemesis and a talon but why oh why oh why would you take anything for granted just costs your ships in the end. And officers. It costs you officers as well. And they're a lot harder to replace than ships. 
surprisingly enough. Alright. Yeah, we only got the one squadron. However, I have learnt from previous videos that, you know, sometimes they will launch um, fighters in kind of stages, like one squadron each turn. Now it could just be I'm being super duper cautious here and there's no need to be. No, I'm not kidding, of course it is. But it's better to be cautious than too aggressive and get yourself kind of on it, Commander. in a jam. These ships are not indestructible. I just make them look that way in some missions. Other missions, I just get them completely blown up. Anyway, they're coming up to our level, so what's the problem? Uh, yep, looks like the raider is coming out to say hello, so... Let's go and say hello Understood. back, because you know, we're all about spreading the love. Squadron target Normally through high-velocity shells, but you know, it works! Right, you guys, let's start bringing yes, sir. down. Not going to get as much height change with us being on boost. Understood. And boost does work for when you're trying to dodge uh, torpedoes, so. One Raider Squadron. Or Viper Squadrons. Now the Raiders have been beefed up. They're much more potent in um, in dogfighting. I think we can all agree on that. But you know, it really doesn't matter when you're outnumbered four to one. You're gonna die. Just Understood. Pretty much a given. Uh, while we're on the uh, subject of dying. Um, <laughs> This gameplay will not last forever. We will kill all the Cylons. We will win the day. So I need uh, ideas, guys. I need ideas for the next game you want. Um, RTS is kind of my thing. I like RTS, but I'm willing to do pretty much anything you want. Um, as long as it doesn't involve me getting jump scares, because I am a wimp. And pretty much scream like a little girl. And I probably shouldn't have told you that, because now you're all going to ask for scary games, aren't you? Oh, well. I have the power of no. Nemesis! Oh, the Raiders are dead. The Raiders are dead. The Raiders, the Raiders, the Raiders are dead. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. Right, we won't attack that one. We will attack that one. Yes, sir. We're going to hit that one with lots and lots of missiles, so... That would be more beneficial to use our Vipers in this kind of area. Alright, um, well we've got targets available, so bring in off the boost. And hit you Understood. with an awful lot of missiles. Yes, Commander. Why nice like that, though? We have missiles. We have too many, in fact, and you all know how I feel about bringing home ordnance. I don't like doing them. I just don't. Don't like doing it at all. Yep, okay, you're cool. We'll bring you over this way. Manticore. Yes, Commander. Alright, quick check. Guided missiles are being fired. They are being fired. They are being fired. Your PCM, so you don't want to fire. You do want to get in line because that's just disgraceful that you're not. And you're firing as well. Okay, here we go. Another nemesis. Are they all missile ones? Because we haven't had a single torpedo, and they normally fire at least one torpedo at you. Okay, um, we're going to assume they don't. Yes, Commander. Uh, 
Yeah, we're going to assume they've done. Have you taken out that other one already? No, you haven't. Whoa, I was about to say, jeez, man. Hostile unit identified. Crap, why isn't he dead yet? Disgrace will be over. Kill it. Understood. Um, you go that way. Yeah. All right. Um. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Awesome. We might do a boost. We might do a so boost. Say we are. Just a. Uh... Oh, that was nice. Guys, seriously, right there. Okay, that's better. You've taken out his rear armor now. Awesome. Okay. Um, right. You. Down. You. On top. Down. Yes, sir. You. You're actually going a little bit faster. I'm not entirely sure why, but okay. Down. Want to get underneath this talon. We don't want this talon to be... Uh, Underneath our gun arcs, we want to be below it, so then we can just annihilate it. All right, go, guys. It's still alive. I'm not happy about this. I'd like to point that out. And you apparently want to hit armor. Come on. Missiles. All right, hang on. Um, no, that's wrong one. That's the right one. Actually, we can split missiles between the two, I suppose. I mean, we could just attack this. Yeah. No, 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 no. Focus on targets. Awesome. Okay. Yes, Commander. Yes. I mean, yeah, fine. We could split missiles between two targets and then... I know yes, we're man. injuring two for the price of one, but... Alright, I'll do that, actually. Yeah, just just the Manticore's missiles. Help out the Vipers. There you go. We're going to use all the missiles. You know it's going to happen. Ah, much better. There you go. All right, we actually don't need you shooting at that anymore. All right. Uh, select target. No. Yes, go after that one. No, no, that was them. There. Yes, Attack sir. that. Thank you very much. Awesome. We have missiles on the way to deal with the first one, so... Cool. Alright, you guys. Um, yeah, we'll bring you guys around like this. Yes, Commander. We've got PCM, so if they end up using missiles eventually... It'll be no biggie. Right, that's gonna die. That one's dead. You're getting your rear armor shredded. That is good. Understood. Uh, a little bit further ahead. Just keep going. We should have this in the bag fairly soon. Go. Cool. You might actually survive that. I completely forgot about the fact. Oh, no, no, it went through your top armor. Awesome! How are you doing? You're slowly dying a death worthy of a Cylon. Excellent. Understood. Might have to drop so even more are. height relative to the talent. Yep, just a little bit. By a little bit, On I mean a, a full step. Um, cool. Go. All right. 
that nemesis should not survive much longer. One more turn. One more turn. And we have a full boatload of missiles ready to go. So we'll ignore the nemesis yes, and just launch everything into the Talon's face. In fact, I'm actually thinking about cranking up the attack stance. I think that's what it's meant to be called. Yes, Commander. Because then we fire five missiles instead of um, four. In case anyone's wondering. You know what? Yes. Let's do as much damage to this thing as we can. Uh, yep, okay, and we'll just bring you back so you're in line. Yes, Commander. Cool! Go. Nemesis, die. Die. Guys, it's a literally a target that's in like not moving. You should be able to kill it. That's a lot of missiles. All right, the Talon's coming in. So right, even if the Nemesis does manage to survive to the point where it's actually attacking us, let's face it. It ain't gonna last long. Hey, it's moving again! I think they're actually better at hitting moving targets. Surprisingly enough. Alright, um, well, Talon is in its way, so we will slow down. We will focus your guns so you're ready to go. Understood. On it, Commander. Focus. Focus on them. Tell her. Shoot it in the face. Um, you can also focus, but you're probably not going to be firing just yet. And it's stuck! Oh, it's her hangar bay was damaged. That explains a lot. Although its hangar bay is actually useless right now. All right, well, one more turn, and then we, uh, we'll fire another boatload of missiles at it. I don't think anyone's going to complain about that. All right, you fire and turn into it. Understood. Fire. Fire. Yes, Commander. Oh, yeah. End turn. That is a lot of guns. I don't think the missiles are going to be necessary. No, they're not. Power of a four stack. That was good. Um, okay, you are slowly getting closer to... To your next rank. Awesome. All right, we have a strike fleet to deal with, and we have a tactic we need to try out. Um, Admiral Steel Grade came to me and suggested um, that, well, raiders seem to like attacking vipers first, which I think is the way the AI is officially said. I mean, they did do in patch 1.0.9. Um, that that was kind of the bias had been changed slightly. So if you don't give them a target, they will attack fighters first. And I think that works for both sides. Um, so if the raiders are going to send half their fighters, as they seem to be doing now, it seems to be if uh, there's a base star or anything, half the fighters will stay behind to protect the base star while the other half go ahead and attack. That's what they're going to do. Or if they're going to send everything, it doesn't really make a difference. They're going to try and get to the vipers first. So why not put the Vipers behind the Battle Stars and put the Battle Stars flak up? Then they have to fly through it, which shreds them to pieces. Then you engage the Vipers, turn off the flak, and you've got a numerical advantage, or at least a, a positional advantage. It 
could work. And we are on the cutting edge of tactics here. You guys bring me tactics, I see what I can do with them. You know, whether I can actually make them work. Or whether I'm too stupid. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, oh, joking aside. Sometimes it doesn't work. And, you know, when that happens, we try something different. Come on, get us in the drive. There we go. Wow, they are close, it looks like. One. All the adamants, all the battle stars, we are liking this. Remix! Dreadus contacts. All marks are hostile. All marks are very darn close. Um, that might be a little too close. Good news is they're on the right side um, for us to use our all Artemises as shields against missiles which is good um right that being said we're going to drop down the adamants we don't want them yes sir running into you can go a bit lower yeah there you go uh we don't want them accidentally getting hit and killed or something by I don't know straight missiles or anything like that so on it commander right, you guys do that so yeah so we're gonna put the battle stars between the adamants and the enemy forces launch all vipers And then see what happens. Quick check. Rival, yes. Saracen, zero. Yes. Steel grade, yes. The Quinn. Ractagon. Tefeth. Could they give me some names I can say, please? Tyan Shan. I think. I don't know. I still haven't sorted out this group. That's so annoying. Okay. <clears throat> Anywho. Uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, launching all the Vipers. Alright. They've all launched at least one group. And we are going to wait. We are not going to just send off the fighters. It's normally what I do. Guys, do that. Yes, Commander. Okay. Uh, enter. Another two. IFF confirms unit. Wow, well, they were close. Uh, we ain't got a choice on this. We're gonna have to send everything. Or have they already gone? <laughs> They've already gone. <laughs> All right, um, scrapping the idea of a uh, yes, commander. Of testing the tactic, they were too close. Engagement happened straight away. It kind of sucks, but there you go. That's just life. So say we all. I really wanted to test that out, so... Still great? Next time, buddy. Yes, Next time. Uh, don't think we're going to be firing your missiles this turn. I think we need to get you a bit higher first. But we can fire the... Uh, yes, Commander. Battlestar missiles. <laughs> Alright. Kind of sucks. Uh, focus fire... No, we're going after that. Okay, what about so yeah, um, I've done the top one. 
No, it didn't. Excellent. All right. Uh, the adamants will come round, and we will hit them next time. Actually, we're going to slow the battle, uh, battle stars down. Adamants will get the next shot off. That is an Squadron awful has gone lot. Dark. Yeah. Who are you attacking there? You're attacking that? Why? You, you're attacking that. I should have checked this. Understood. You're attacking that. You're attacking that. <laughs> They're all attacking the... Squadron target is confirmed. Thing. You should be defaulting to... Um, these guys. But they're not. Understood. Right. I've reassigned all the fighters to fighters. You guys, I want you to turn in. I Understood. want you to get some hurting on that. That's Cerberus. It could get the uh, on it, Commander. Adamants to climb. Yes, Commander. Yeah, you know what? I will. We keep them behind the Artemises. They should be out of any kind of decent gun range. But at the same time, we can. Hold off on those missiles, I think. 33. You know what? No, we're going to do it. Let's take it out. That's PCM. Deploying countermeasures. Yeah, didn't mean to do that. Um, nope. You. No, you. Cancel that. Don't need that. You. We do need. Understood. Same with you. Enter. Come on, Artemis. You were firing earlier on. Base start. All right, we've got to drag the adamants back. Understood. Uh, we'll do a very fast turn. For some reason, my Artemises are struggling to yes, stay Amanda. in line. Understood. Right. You guys switch back down. Understood. Oh, right, I've done that. Well, that was stupid, wasn't it? So say we all. I can't understand why they were running into each other, and that's because I'd done them out of order. Yes, Commander. Because I'm smart like that. Enter. Hurt it. Hostile unit identified. All right, you. Slow down. Understood. Actually, gain height. Wow, have I got extra? 
understood. Um, maneuverability on mine? I think I have. So say we all. Alright, let's give this guy a full on broadside. You lot accelerate. On it, Commander. Fighters aren't doing great. They're not doing bad, though. Considering the numbers we're supposed to be up against. Alright, you guys, how you doing? Ugh, left arm is taking a bit of beating. Okay, that's the Cerberus dead that side. You guys slow down. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. We don't have a chance to do a... any more missiles just yet. One more turn on that. So let's give them a nice full on broadside with the adamants. In fact, let's give them everything. Crank up the power. Attack eight. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, you guys are still in a fight for your lives there. Slow you down. No, that's dead. And so we're going after that, okay? Just accept we're going after that. Uh, left armor on the top one is a little bit dinged up. Only a little bit. It should be fine. Focus on there. Right, enter. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of firepower just shredding that thing to death. All right, we should have missiles now. Okay. Yes, we do. No. Let's go after the base star. Yes, Commander. Base star takes a much more of a pounding than a Cerberus, so... Right, you guys do that, and then we want you to accelerate behind the Artemises, because you know the base star is going to start firing missiles. Understood. Okay, you guys, um, I really want to do that, actually. No, let's focus everything we've got on the base style. Yeah. Let's just punish that thing. Focus there, please. Thank you. And that. Alright. End time. Squadron has gone dark. Alright, we got a lot of missiles coming this way. Yes, Commander. And I don't think we're going to be able to defend them. Turn into them, maybe? That could be an idea. Yes, Turn sir. into them and then just. So say we all. Mass flak. Seems to be going after the adamants for some strange reason. Flak. On the left, yes. Flak. And turn. Oh, beautiful. And the base star is gone. Count 
Castle Flak. Focus on that. <laughs> no, so few fighters left. Um, all right, you guys will do this. Yes, Commander. On it, Commander. And we're going to stick you on defensive. Until someone can tell me that this doesn't actually help with... Um, taking out enemy fighters, I'm going to keep trying it. On it, Commander. Focus on that. Most definitely focus on that. Are you focused? I think you are. Yes, you are. Enter. Come on, kill it. Did I forget to turn someone's flak off? Maybe. Maybe twice. <laughs> Alright, you guys go that On way. It, Commander. So say we all. Alright, we only have like one little tiny squadron of fighters left. Doing the best we can. Alright, um Enter. I love the damage that three Artemises can put out in one go. Oh, look, they're coming in. Okay, uh, Flak. There's no friendly squadrons active. There's no friendly squadrons. Um, oh, 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 you stay. Stay. Flak, we're going to put you on the right in case they come around that way. Black. Yeah, we'll put you on the left. Come on. There you go. Got it. Yes, Commander. Um, oh, yeah, we've still got that to deal with. You know what? We'll be fine. Cancel. End turn. Um, are they flying through my flat cloud? I mean, that's okay if they are. On it, Commander. Missiles? No. Yes, Commander. He's not hurt yet. He needs to be hurt. Missiles on their way. You guys. You know what, we don't need you on a attack. So let's bring you off that. Come on, thank you. That's the one I wanted. Left is really hurt on there. Okay, um you will actually turn that way. All right, we got them all dead. Understood. That worked out pretty well. All enemy vi uh they're yeah, not vipers. Things. <laughs> Raiders! That's the one. All enemy raiders are dead. Let's go back to causing as much damage as possible. We've got uh, a rival over here. Left armor is shredded, but we're good. We're good. We've got the left armor away from 
away from this Cerberus. Focus on you. Have I focused everyone else? No, I haven't. So bad. So, so bad. You guys. This should be absolutely horrible. As in, oh my god, how much damage can just six ships do? Uh, you should be okay. I mean, yes, your left armor is kind of non-existent, but you should be alright. Enter. I forgot to turn off uh, my flag. Oh well. Done. Well, no one took damage. All contacts down. Mission complete. I think we're going to have to start using 35 pretty much exclusively for these missions. Oh yeah, Josephine, you you should rank up, shouldn't you? Oops. Forgot about that at the end of the last video. All right, well. We've got some points to play with now, so let's have a look at our officers. Jim Mags uh, has got a promotion due. Ooh, nice. If I can get you the ships to work with it. But you are in Daedalus Group. Might switch you out for someone else. That might not be a bad idea, actually. If we switch Mags out for someone who's not great but not bad and then we can build up a second well basically 35 fleet anyway i'm sorry i'm getting off topic we have people we need to see if we can promote e oh no actually i thought we could but we can't no nowhere near cancel that okay next promote Okay, uh, your control, that's max speed. Yeah, I'm going to go for the your control. I mean, why not? Confirm. There you go. Um, no. Almost, but not quite. No. Not quite. Killing me here, people. You're killing me here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have a promotion. Elevation, navigation, go for navigation. Makes it harder for them to hack our flagship. Good. No. 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 So annoying, but no. And no. But you're 48, so you're kind of over on your own. We really need to get you. to get you some people over there um so yeah so we've got fleet 35 that's pretty much our main strike force uh, fleet 12. i really want to give you a promotion but i can't and we've got our daedalus officer the problem with daedalus is you can't a daedalus counts as a ship which sucks. So, getting Mags replaced by someone else is not a bad thing. We can work with that. Anyway, that's by the by. Um, cutting off the 83, we need to get some reinforcements over to 48. Preferably containing an Artemis. You're not doing too bad. We've got another 3500 fleet there. You've got another fight coming your way. Silent Fleet 192. That's a 5600. Oh boy. Thirty five hundred fleet against fifty six. I don't know if that's doable. 
and beta. <laughs> I might, might actually just write off beta for now. Helios Beta. In Helios Beta, we've got a 56, a 7950, and a 6500. I mean, fine, in Alpha, we've got almost the same. Delta's got that. We've got nothing in Gamma, which is fine. I might just write off Beta for now, bring 48 back, and we can rebuild it. You know what? Yes. That's what we're going to do. Uh, 35. I don't know. Should we go for that? Tell you what. Question for you lot. Do we put 35 onto Articles of Colonization next turn? Um, or do we wait until we've done something with uh, Fleet 48 here. Stick it in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Should we postpone until we can get a second pretty much Artemis fleet? Or do we just push on as quickly as possible? I don't see us being able to hold that that system right now. We've only got this one weakened fleet, so we may as well bring it back and try and do something else with it. And we've got that fight there. I don't even know if we can do that fight yet. So yeah, there you go. That's the question for this video. Do we push on or do we wait until we've built up another big strike fleet? Hopefully I'll have an answer by next time. But until then, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like what you saw, then please do hit the subscribe button down below or the icon in the middle of the screen, you know, the logo thing. Um, and then don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notifications when the videos come out. Pretty action-packed one today. That was pretty cool. I like the ones where we can actually try out new stuff though. We didn't get a chance to try that tactic. I'm sorry about that, Steel Grade. I will, I will try and work it in in another way in another video. Um, we've still got to work on that uh, Minotaur option as well. But that can be for next time. Till then, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye bye.